Okay, people, it's Sunday, March 2nd, giving you an update on these figs. As you can see, some of these uh, I had died back. So if I bring this guy out, this was here and there was another one here. Uh, this, these are the Adriatic figs and these two are just barely holding on. And I don't know what's going on, but um, at the bottom here, you can see that there was some death that was going on along with, oh, well, this was a different one, but this one was more of a green cutting, green in color, but it also is toast. This one was a fig pop, um, but I thought I'd pull them out and take a look at them, see how they, how they looked. I have some of these that are not, I mean, there's a sign of growth right there. Look at that little bit of green, but it is not, they are not moving very well or very fast. Now these have been in the ground or in the pots, this group for a month now and not much growth. The fig pops are growing. I just did a light spray um, with my sprayer because it gets really, really dry in here. And I think that a lot of them are drying out. So I am making a mixture over there with some, uh, it's like a mosquito and fig gnat bacteria or something that, that kills the larva. And I am gonna pour that in a lot of these because when I take this soil tester and I put it back here, if you look at that, it's on the dry side and I want that to be on the more moist side and that's on the outside of the pot where I've mostly been watering. So right now I need to water these because they are not doing so hot. And I have a hard time telling, is this wilting due to dryness or is this wilting due to me uh, taking them out to the in the sun and acclimatizing them? I'm gonna assume it's due to dryness. So I'm going to water them a little bit more. I read a couple of other things and they said when they're at this stage where they have some good growth and primary leaves to water them more than these that are just starting to bud. So more watering is, I think, what is necessary. Unless it's something like this one. This one um, is curling up and dying. See, so sad. Um, I, I think it's still viable and there are definitely roots in there. So I'm gonna try to rejuvenate this one. It fills medium in terms of weight. These guys are for the most part doing pretty good. I have two that are starting to die back. This one, and I don't know why it's dying back, but it is. And there's another one in the back corner. Um, and then this one that's starting to die back a little bit, but it has some good growth. So maybe I put them out in the sun a little bit too soon or too early, but I just need to get more light on these things. Here on this side, I have some dieback on these fig pops, but there's not very many roots on here. So I'm assuming that that's a very thin cutting. I'm assuming it's just it doesn't have enough energy to be able to populate. Um, but with these on the side here, I put water in the bottom to help them soak up some water because I want them to, I don't want to water them from the top. I've read some things about, uh, you don't want to water from the top, but I don't know, this is all an experiment. So we'll see what happens. Partridge eye fig tree, which I think is doing pretty darn good. And I think that's a figlet that is growing on that one right there in the middle. Could be, uh, maybe not, I'm pretty sure it is but I'm gonna let it grow for a little bit and see if it buds out or if it just swells. And then in the back there, another one that has been dying right there. Doesn't look very good, but I mean, I'm, I'm not expecting 100% success rate, even though I'd love 100% success rate, that, that would be great. But another thing that I am learning from experience and that is don't don't pinch off any buds from new growth. For example, this one started to grow and I didn't want this one to grow. So I, I pinched off the, see if I can get it out. Yeah, that leaf is toast. I, I pinched off the top there 
to stimulate more growth here. But then this started to die back. I'm learning things as I go. And I'm gonna summarize these videos all into one video to show the progress of what's going on. Another thing, uh, the lights that I have, these are full spectrum lights, but they are so far out here. I'm gonna zoom in. They're producing a good amount of light and good quality light, um, but I don't think they're light enough to be able to stimulate the growth that is needed for these figs. So um, I have a choice. I can either take them outside and do like a pseudo greenhouse and put them in there temporarily or get some grow lights. And I don't know if I want to get some grow lights. I mean, that's just an added expense that I don't want to, to incorporate. So anyways, going to take this stuff. It's been soaking for about 20 minutes and I'm going to lightly water all of these with about, I don't know, four or five ounces on these bigger pots on the four by nines. I'm going to use probably three or four ounces of water. To hopefully that'll rehydrate them and get some more more growth. But anyways, that's the update for this. They're looking pretty darn good. I am taking them out into the sun almost every day for about an hour, and they start to wilt a little bit as they're out there. But um, I think it's good to get them out in the sun and with a light breeze. And if they don't hold up, then it wasn't meant to be. Maybe I can try a different one next year. Okay, hope that was beneficial. Have an excellent day.